went from, because you did theater before, right? Mm -hmm. You school. went from theater in high school. Meadowvale. Meadowvale, what's up? Represent Mrs. Saga, Saga, what's good? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we're the same person, literally. We're the same person. <laughs> so you went from theater in high school. Yes to a Netflix show that was number one across the globe viewed by like 40 million or more people. How Apparently. do you navigate that? How That's legit, like zero to 100 real quick. It is, it is. I mean, a lot of it happened in quarantine, right? So people weren't watching me walk about and you know, be out in the town. We didn't even get a premiere like party for the release of it. Mm -hmm. It was all virtual. So it felt like everything that was happening was all online mm -hmm. and it wasn't necessarily real. Right. It was like, ah, oh, no, this is, this is fake. Like, this is all just an internet meme. <laughs> but it's actually a real show that people watch and connect with. Okay, let me ask you this. Mm. Because of that huge transition in your life, what role has social media- You got a lot media... of salt on your thigh. I just gotta get it for you. Oh, I'm gonna be oh honest. God. Ignoring all of that, then when you went from zero to 100 and when you like had this whole new life, legit, mm. how did social media feel? Because that's also another place. Oh, okay, I see your eyes. I see your eyes, girl. <laughs> Tell me, what is the vibes on social media? Oh, man. I mean, like, my following went up like crazy. And it was like a lot because, like, I'm used to just my homies following me and just, <laughs> you know, keeping it like that. But at times I was like, this is really cool. Like, I can use my platform. And then, of course, then, like, the subtle, like, threat comes into the DMs for your life and your family's life and you're like, oh, okay, thank you, bye. What are people mad about? Bro, I don't know, but it, like, I I definitely had like my moments of like, I am scared to go on TikTok or Twitter or Instagram. Like definitely like my panic attacks happened and they really sucked. Mm -hmm. Definitely had some tears shedded, but then it's like, what makes me mad is like, you have to teach yourself to brush it off rather than just get those people to stop. Like oh, yeah. why should I have to, Brush it off my shoulders. Why can't people just like not be dicks that's for like the, two seconds? That's the thing that's hardest for me too because it's it's a problem where the solution is not a realistic one. Yeah. The solution is it's for not everyone. Gonna happen. The solution is for everyone to be a happy, healthy individual online. And that's never gonna happen. We live in a society. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, but I mean, it's like a love and hate relationship, and I think how I've managed to like navigate it is truly like taking it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Like, who is this person? Perfect. With a grain of salt. <laughs> when there's any shows that's like brown shows, Indian shows, mm -hmm. or you know, or Tamil shows or whatever it is, because they're minority shows, people have all of these critiques about, yes, you're not uh, doing it right. This is not no. my experience. And I'm like, real representation means we can have an array of shows. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And so 100%. that's, th yeah. And that's something I want to just let you know that you're making big waves and you're Thank breaking you. down barriers. And like every salty person online is not doing that. So, that got on my thigh. Damn. That's facts. Also, I don't know about you, my hand is legit frozen right now. Oh no, I'm good. For I'm real? Sure. Yeah, Someone Canada. take this from me. Canada, baby, <laughs> Canada. My hand has frostbite on it right now. <laughs> I don't know how you're moving in life. There's definitely a lot of pressure mm -hmm. from like, you know, people all over the world, especially like our own community, people 100%. that look like us to represent them because they've been starved for that representation. So whenever I get like the occasional like, Davey doesn't represent me, this is not the representation I wanted when I asked for mm -hmm. representation, this isn't what I meant. It's like, at first I was like sort of hurt because I was like, damn, like I, I worked hard, I know Mindy did, I know everyone did. Mm -hmm. But then I realized it comes from a place of them not feeling seen. Mm -hmm. So I can actually really sympathize and empathize with that. So I only hope, and I know like you're doing it, I'm doing it, Mindy's doing it, to bring, you know, room for others to come up because mm -hmm. I can't possibly represent all brown girls, mm -hmm. nor can you, right. nor can Davey. Max. And all we can do is represent true to ourselves exactly. and open the door for other people with other walks of life to come in and represent more people. Facts. Not to be preachy, but like... No, be preachy. Be, be, be preachy. All the preachy on it. <laughs> preachy peachy. That's that. Yeah. And I'll just continue to be me and you continue to be you. For and sure. we're vibing. 100%. We're we'll be vibing forever. I'm exactly. going to be here for you. I want to see you thrive. Now when people ask me my name, I'm like, my tree. <laughs> Ramakrishnan right here. Um, if you're watching at home and you've been living under some very, very large rock, check out season one of Never Have I Ever on Netflix. And season two is coming in July. Exclusive! Ooh. Right also, here, one right more now. thing. North side, we're the North. Six Raptors all day. Woo! We're the Woo! North. We're the North. Can we hang out with the Raptors now? Do you think they'll like? I yeah. You it? know what? Yes. Yeah. Yo, me and Kyle, we know each other. We we slide in DMs. Okay. Yeah. Exclusive, right here, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Z, run with it. Right here. <laughs> right here.
guys so much for watching this clip and thank you even more for supporting The Underdog. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can click right over there for more clips just like this one that are hilarious. You can click right over there. Hopefully, if someone did their job, those things are there. We'll see.